You know, I think every gun person out there is guilty of having a misconception about one gun or another. Something we believe to be factual about a gun that might not be as factual as we think. For me, one thing I always say when people ask me, why don't you carry a Beretta 92, is the first thing that comes to my mind is it's just too big, too bulky to carry easily. Now, a lot of people might find that funny since I carry a full-size 1911 every day. In fact, I carry one with a 6.3-inch barrel. And a lot of people are like, that's got to be easily as big as the Beretta. But in my mind, I'm like, nah, the Beretta is like this giant monstrosity that's hard to carry. Now, why do I think that? Well, it might be because the only time I've ever actually carried a Beretta 92 is during work, during service. So I carried it in a drop leg holster. I don't know if you've ever been uh, privileged enough to carry anything in a drop leg holster for very long, but in my opinion, it's horrible. I was always banging my gun on door frames, table legs, catching it on chairs. Anything I walked past, I'd snag with my damn gun and holster. By the time I got done for the day, I was lucky to not have a trail of objects and people that got swept up in the mess as I drug stuff along that was hooked on my holster. And that's kind of stuck with me and made me think, ah, Beretta 92s are just a little bit too big to carry, and that's why I carry the much slimmer and smaller 1911 platform. I think most people that are watching this video would agree that 1911s are very easy to carry simply because they do have such a slim profile, especially when compared to something like the Beretta. So I thought today I'd make a little video where I actually compare them side by side in a factual, uh, consistent way and see, is the Beretta 92 actually that much bigger? Now I'm not going to compare it to my everyday carry because that's a 6.3 inch barrel. That's kind of a no brainer. It's going to be longer. So I'm going to use a gun that would be more in line with the Beretta 92 here. I'm going to go to a regular five inch government size 1911. In this case, one of my Nighthawk five inch 1911s. So let's go ahead and get these measured and see how big a difference there actually is. First, let's look at the grip length. We all know that grip length is the hard part of a gun to conceal. The longer the grip, the harder it is to keep it tight into your body and the more you're gonna print. So when it comes to the length of the grip on these two guns, you can see it's pretty much identical. Both of them have a mag guide installed or mag well installed, but as you can see, pretty much exactly the same. From the bottom of the magazine plate up to the top of the sights, these guns are pretty much identical as far as grip length is concerned. Now let's look at the overall length of the two guns. As you can see here, from beaver tail on forward to the end of the barrel, not a whole lot of difference, but I will have to say the 1911 is actually longer. It does have a little bit longer barrel also than the Beretta. So if you want the longer barrel, I think you would excuse that extra length. But if you're just looking at overall length, the actual 1911 is longer than the Beretta. But length isn't that big of an issue when you're carrying, but it still is an issue. So I wanted to show you how they compared lengthwise. Well, now that we see that they're actually very similar in height and length, and if you went to a commander size 1911, they'd be even more similar. Uh, the only real other difference could be thickness and weight. So let's check the thickness of both guns and the weight. I'm going to have to do this the manual way because I broke my little measuring thing here. So I'm going to have to measure it and then actually read it. Thickness on the 1911 at the end of the barrel is about 0.95 inches. So 0.95 inches for the 1911. The thickness at the end of the slide for the Beretta is 1.1 inches. So a little bit thicker, like 0.15 inches thicker, which isn't much. That's a very small difference. So they're actually kind of similar. And the thickness of the barrel doesn't matter as much as the grip. So let's measure it at the grip, which is usually the widest point of any gun. The thickness on the grips of the 1911 are 1.35 inches, 1.35 inches. And I do have a slimmer profile grip on here. Some grips will be a little bit thicker, some will be a little thinner, but this is kind of intermediate and it's 1.35 inches. For the Beretta, it's 1.4 inches thickness at the grip, which is about 0.05 inches bigger than the 1911. But the grips I have on this gun are actually a little thicker than the stock grips. So as far as thickness of the grip goes, I'm gonna say it's a wash. I'm gonna say they're pretty much exactly the same. Okay, I'm gonna weigh the guns unloaded because depending on what ammo you choose, that could make a difference in the actual weight at the end. But the unloaded weight is a constant. And like I said, I don't have a lightweight 1911. So keep in mind, this is an all steel 1911. So let's weigh that one first. 
this one is fluctuating a little bit between, you know, like 2.79 and 2.85, 2.81. Let's just say two pounds, eight ounces. So two and a half pounds. Now keep in mind the Beretta does have an aluminum alloy frame, but it is a little bit more substantial gun. But let's see how it compares weight wise. It's two pounds, two ounces. So just a little over two pounds. So a little bit lighter actually than the 1911, but like I say, it does have an aluminum frame. So this doesn't mean as much. If you were to get an aluminum frame 1911, they'd probably be pretty much the same weight. So in the end, having looked at all those measurements and comparisons, am I right to say the Beretta 92 is just too big to carry? I'm gonna to have to say I'm not. I'm not right. I don't think it is. Uh, I think that's just a preconception that I had from a bad experience I had in the past based on the way I had to carry the gun at the time. In reality, I don't see why I don't carry one of these other than the fact that it's nine millimeter and I actually like 10 millimeter better. But if I were to carry nine millimeter, this right here, this has a potential to have 18 plus one rounds, 19 rounds. Whereas that 10 millimeter 1911 can only hold nine plus one, which is 10 rounds. So that would be a real big plus for this gun. It might have a little bit less power as far as each round is concerned, but you get almost twice as many of them. But the real concern to me has always been the size. But like I said, looking here now, was I right about it being too big to carry? I don't think I was. I think this would make a great carry gun. <gasps> Oops. Thank you.